Hey guys, here's what we're going to be making today. It is this little hot dog plushie. And this one was a request. It was requested by Louisa Kelly. So thank you so much for requesting this. I think he turned out super duper cute. And it was actually surprisingly really quick and simple to make. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to get started by listing the materials that you'll need. To make this plush, you'll need felt in the colours tan, brown and black. You will also need threaded matching colours. The templates which you can download in the video description. Fabric scissors, a sewing needle and some stuffing. I also used glue in this tutorial to attach the hot dog to the bun piece but that is of course completely optional and so you guys can skip that if you prefer. First we're going to cut out the pieces. From your tan coloured felt cut one piece from this template and two pieces from this template. From your brown felt cut one piece from this template and two pieces from this template. And finally from your black felt cut two small circles and these are going to be for the eyes. Now it's time to start sewing. Thread your needle with black thread and then use a fell stitch to sew your black circles onto this long rectangular piece. I would recommend sewing them quite high, so quite close to the top of the piece, but not too close because this piece is going to be hidden because we're going to put the hot dog inside. Here is what that looks like and now you can also use your black thread to sew a little mouth, just like that. If you are having trouble making the face, I do have an entire video which is dedicated to that topic, so I will link that in the video description. So once you've done that, thread your needle with cream coloured thread, and we're going to make the little bun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece that you've just sewed the face onto, and I'm going to fold it in half, and you need to make sure that the face is actually on the inside of the fabric. And now using my cream coloured thread, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew all the way down this edge using a blanket stitch. Here is what that should look like. And now what you need to do is you need to flip this piece inside out so that the face is on the outside again. And you should end up with something like this. Now take these little Pac-Man shaped pieces and we're going to sew these onto the side. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to kind of fold this bit inwards a little bit. And then when you turn it sideways it's going to come up come out kind of like a heart shape and then you take this piece and you want to line up this little point in here with this little point here and place it on like that and then use a blanket stitch to sew all the way around the edge and secure this on here. Once you've done that you should get something like this and now I'm going to take the second little Pac-Man piece and I'm going to start to sew this onto the other side. Before you sew all the way around add some stuffing to this section and then continue sewing the blanket stitch to sew this piece closed. I sometimes get asked how you hide the thread when you are finished sewing the blanket stitch so I'm just going to show you guys real quick. All I do is I put in my needle into the fabric straight into the plush as near as I can to where it's come out. So I'm just going to poke it in right there and then pull it through like kind of through the plush and poke it out at some random point and then you pull your thread all the way through and then basically all you have to do is pull it as tight as you can, or not too tight because it might snap, but pull it quite tight and then cut it close to the fabric and as you can see the thread just kind of goes inside the plush and gets hidden on the inside. Okay so now that the little bread bun is finished we're going to move on and make the sausage or hot dog I guess. <laughs> thread your needle with brown thread and then taking this rectangular piece we're going to fold it up so that it makes a cylinder just like that. And then using the fell stitch, I'm just going to sew all the way down this edge and secure that in place. This part is actually quite difficult to sew, so if it helps, you can do what I did and put a pencil inside. And then when you're sewing the fell stitch, you can just sew um, both parts of the stitch at once. So you can put your needle in this side and then out the other side, just like that. Um, alternatively, you could always use glue. You just do a thin strip of glue on one side and then wrap it around and wait for that to dry. So yeah, <laughs> once you've done that it should look something like this and now you want to take one of your little circle pieces and we're just going to sew that onto the edge using a blanket stitch. Here is what that looks like and now you're going to add some stuffing to this long piece. Again you might need to use your pencil to, to make sure that the stuffing goes all the way down inside. And then taking your other circular piece put this on the other side and again sew that in place using a blanket stitch. Place the hot dog inside the bun and then we are finished. This is optional but if you like you can cut out a strip of 
um, red or yellow coloured felt and that can be the mustard or the ketchup and I'm just going to use glue to glue this on top of my hot dog like that just like that and I also use glue to attach the hot dog to the bun just because I don't want them to separate and get lost when I put them in my big bag of plushies so yeah thank you so much for watching this tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you do make this plush or any of my plushies then I would really love to see a video response and thank you so much for watching Bye guys!